Well guys, welcome back to Carolina Rec Cuddles. Today, it is super hot. Like, ugh, I'm just sweating and I cannot stop. But anyways, today we are going to adjust the uh, clutch on this thing. <laughs> Ever since I put the clutch kit on it, the, uh, the thing just takes off as soon as you shift up. It shifts hard. So we're gonna go ahead and walk on the, uh, getting, getting it adjusted. It is way too hard. This is right here is what we gotta do. You gotta think of the 14 and a Phillips slacking that off and as you can see we need to decrease meaning go that way now you just twist what i was told was just to twist it don't take it off but twist all the way now you get the flip fill up not fill up flathead. where'd it go oh, there it goes now you're just going to decrease it huh okay guys so you're going to twist the phillips head you just keep twisting it uh, uh counterclockwise twist it until it gets tight like you start to feel it tighten up then turn it back one quarter time and once you do that that, that should work and then go ahead and i got a 14 i got a 14 inch wrench i put it here took it hold held it there so that don't spin <clears throat> and that's how i got it so now it's time to see if it actually worked See, what would happen then was I shift it up and it just take off by itself. Look at that open exhaust. Took it all off the other day to weld up this thing. So let's see what we got. Okay, Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all you gotta do. And then make sure you tighten it back up. I like to use an open end, open end ratchet wrench or 14 inch wrench. So that way you gotta hold the screwdriver on it while you're torn it. <coughs> also torn and then you're pretty screwed. Well guys, we this that's it for this. That's how you adjust this thing. It works way better now. Before the foot shift or felt like you were trying to like rip it out of the its stand or something. It just, it didn't work at all. It was horrible. I kept thinking, man, I know this thing ain't supposed to be this tight. So we got that straight. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> and be prepared for more. We're going to go ahead and take this thing out there and go find some uh, mud. But I th actually, I think we're going to go in a pond tonight. I've never actually tried out the entire length of this snorkel. And it's, uh, let's just say, it's pretty tall. I'm about 5'10", so it's... About it's almost six foot tall, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out tonight and try it out. So make sure you stay tuned for that video. See y'all in the next one.